We heard from President Trump tweeting saying that it was mission accomplished, but then the U.S. ambassador to the U.N., Nikki Haley, saying that the U.S. remains locked and loaded. Could we see more action? Well, I think, um, you know, on the, on the strike, military strike front, the U.S. seems to be saying that uh, what happened over the weekend was a narrow, targeted strike uh, and that there are no more plans to do uh, military action against, to take military action against Syria unless President Assad again uses chemical weapons. On the sanctions side, we've had kind of a mixed message from the administration. The U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley was, uh, was rather definitive over the weekend saying that sanctions were coming as soon as today. Now, the White House put out a statement uh, just an hour or two ago saying that sanctions are under consideration, but we don't have any details about what they may be, and it does sound like from their statement that they may not be as imminent as uh, Nikki Haley made them out to be over the weekend. Well, Russia's deputy foreign minister came out a little while ago and said that the threat of sanctions is not going to change Russia's behavior. Do we trust him? Do we believe him, Bill? Is there anything to suggest otherwise? And if not, why would, why would we even threaten sanctions? Well, I don't know that they're, uh, I, I, in this case, I think uh, you might be able to trust the, the Russians on saying it's not going to change their behavior. I think the strike over the weekend uh, was pretty narrow and focused on one specific issue in terms of trying to take out part of Assad's chemical weapons infrastructure. The U.S. and its allies made clear they don't want to intervene in that war. Russia has really, uh, has really helped Assad retake large portions of that country. Uh, Russia did, does not appear to have engaged against the U.S. or allied assault uh, over the weekend. So uh, in terms of the broader conflict there, I don't think, uh, I don't think what happened uh, in terms of the U.S.-led military strike will affect Russian behavior or, frankly, uh, President Assad's behavior. Was it more meaningful because this time around the U.S. attacked in coordination with France and the U.K.? Right. A year ago, when President Trump ordered a strike on Syria after, a, uh, after its use of chemical weapons, it was, a, it was just the U.S. who was involved in that. This time, uh, it gives it a veneer of an international response when you have the French participation and the U.K. participation. Uh, and the reason they did that together was because with Russia's veto on the Security Council, we're never going to get a U.N. Security Council authorization for force. So, yes, it does help in terms of it being a more international response. But I think uh, everyone was pretty, pretty narrowly focused on making sure we hit Assad's chemical weapons abilities, but we don't provoke the Russians into some sort of a retaliation. How much is domestic affairs or issues, how much are they impacting our foreign policy creation now, Bill? I mean, we just had Michael Cohen arriving at Federal Courthouse here in Manhattan, you know, and that's obviously in the background as is the James Comey book and on and on and on. Right. You have, you know, there's a lot of background noise, as it seems there frequently is here in Washington now. You have uh, the Comey book coming out tomorrow. He gave his, uh, his first public interview about it last night. You have uh, uh, Michael Cohen, the president's personal lawyer, in a, in a dispute with both the Southern District of New York and, uh, and, and the Justice Department about whether federal officials can look through files seized at uh, Cohen's offices. And frankly, you still have... Um, you still have the, uh, the impact of uh, the poisoning of a Russian spy in the U.K. a couple weeks ago. I think, frankly, that had a fairly significant impact on the U.S. decision to strike Syria as well. So there's a lot of political noise here in Washington. Uh, that hasn't changed for the last year and a half, and there's no reason to think it's going to change anytime soon.